At Gen A, we love to dream up creative new ways to engage with communities around the topic of nuclear energy. We had the opportunity to bring some of those ideas into the world. Two different, very important reasons related to advancing our cause of saving nuclear energy and saving the world. The first one is to develop the nuclear advocacy skills of people that already support nuclear energy. Perhaps you've been in a situation where someone expressed reservations about this incredible power source we call fission. We view every nuclear supporter as a tremendous untapped resource in the fight for fission. Our goal is to unlock that potential so that these atomic advocates can go out into their communities and communicate the value of nuclear power, as well as the hope and optimism that nuclear power provides for us. So, to build those advocacy skills, we held something we call the Nuclear Ambassador Training at Idaho National Lab. This year, to make it better than ever, we teamed up with our friends at the Nuclear Alternative Project. In the training, participants crafted their personal nuclear stories while handwriting a letter to their legislator. Then they sharpened their arguments by responding to anti-nuclear internet comments. And finally, they put their new skills to the test with conversational role-playing exercises. The second goal. We want to bring conversations about nuclear energy into new communities in a fun and creative way. We are having fun engaging the community. People are learning about climate change and about nuclear energy. The first event was board games and beer. The moment you've all been waiting for has now arrived. What you're about to play is a prototype board game to help solve climate change, which is, for me, the biggest crisis facing our generation. That is a big part of the reason why we made this game, get people thinking about the problem more critically. We believe that play can be used to teach complicated subjects like, uh, you know, how to decarbonize the entire global energy system in 30 years while adapting to an onslaught of natural disasters. After you see uh, people save the world in a board game, you're like, wow, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm already seeing some pretty impressive strategies. Next step, go in, take all these recommendations. Maybe it's going to take another three times. Maybe it's going to take another 300 times. But it's going to be perfect. Release it to the world, and I think we make a really big impact. For the second event, we teamed up with a chapter of Citizens Climate Lobby from a neighboring town to hold an event called Save the Ales. It was a moderated discussion about climate impacts on beer and how to avoid them, held at a brewery. It was both fun and impactful as the attendees took hundreds of legislative contact actions and Citizens Climate Lobby was able to build a respectable list of people interested in starting a new chapter in Idaho Falls. This is the kind of event that any group of Gen A volunteers could put together and is a great opportunity to build some bridges to a broader environmental community. For our third community event, we wanted to focus on the next generation. Have you ever thought to yourself, how can I teach a group of kids about clean energy, but in an interactive and exciting way? Our answer to that question, Climate Clash. So it teaches kids about clean energy through a runaround playing game. And it's more fun than I had ever expected. Picking what energy they want to be, and I see a lot of kids saying, I want to be the nuclear energy. I feel like I've saved the whole entire world. <laughs> It gets more dynamic in what happens until we get to a final round where clean energy is going to win. Sound like fun? Get in touch. We can make it happen in your community. And remember, split, don't admit.